Hello, and thank you for joining Pioneer Library System for this STEAM tutorial. My name is Miss Kim, and today we're going to learn how to make a basic reed. But what is a reed exactly? Uh, let's see if Mr. Chris can give us a little bit more information. Mr. Chris? This is the reed from a saxophone. It gets attached to a mouthpiece, like this. When I blow into the mouthpiece, the moving air makes the reed vibrate, which makes the air in the mouthpiece vibrate, which makes the air in the saxophone vibrate, which makes the air in the whole room vibrate. And those vibrations are what your ears hear as noise, like this. Back to you, Miss Kim. Aw, I love that song. Thank you, Mr. Chris. All right, now that we know what a reed is and how it works, we are going to make our own simple version. And here's all you need. Drinking straw, a pair of scissors, make certain you talk to your grown-up before you use sharp objects, and if you have a hole punch, I'll show you something fancy you can do later on in the video. First thing you want to do is flatten the end of your straw. You can do this just by pinching it between your fingers, or you can do this to flatten it out, or you can bite it a little bit between your teeth. But you want it to be kind of flat. So you want to make a V cut in the end of your straw, but you do want to leave a little flat part on the end. So, turn it over, just like that. Don't worry if the cuts aren't even, it'll still work just fine. If you mess this up, don't worry, just cut it off and start over again. That's all there is to it. You've just made a simple reed. If you put it in your mouth and press it between your lips but not your teeth and blow, you'll get this sound. Here's another fun thing you can do, but be careful, use your safety scissors, make certain that you talk to your grown-up before using sharp objects. Ready? I'd show you something fancy you could do if you have a hole punch. Are you ready? So you want to set your straw on its side so it looks like a little mouth and then take your hole punch and you don't want to go all the way through your straw just halfway so just pinch it down a little bit put it into the hole punch and see how I'm not going through all the way it won't be perfectly round and that's okay. Just cut a little half moon out of there. I want to get it all the way off. And then we'll do that again. Again, just a little half moon, a half circle. We'll do one more. And when you turn it over like this and kind of flatten it out. You have some finger holes. Place your fingers over the holes and then experiment with what kind of sounds you get when you lift your fingers up and put them back down again. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to log this as one of your summer learning activities. I hope you make a lot of fun music. <laughs>